Final Cut is the fastest, most modern editing program in the world, but what really separates it from competitors and leaves them in the dust is its support for built-in effects that can be modified by users in motion and support for the largest third-party ecosystem of plugins and effects. Today we're taking a look at the top five must-have effects and plugins that you should have in your Final Cut Pro for 2022. Let's start with a built-in effect recently added to Final Cut that's been a total game changer. This was missing for a long time, but it's now available today for free. At number five, tracking. That's right, one of the most requested features that was missing from Final Cut has finally arrived as a software update. The new native tracker lets you track masks and effects. For example, you can blur a face to hide your informant's identity, track it in just a few seconds, and the mask with the effect stays on his face throughout the clip. Or you can track an object, then link a title to the tracking information, and it follows the object perfectly. You can choose to apply only certain parameters to the track, for example, position only, and leave rotation and scale disabled. From the built-in effects, we can now jump into third-party plugins to upgrade your projects with Final Cut. At number four, neat video. As a filmmaker, there are often situations where you can't escape noisy looking footage from not having enough light. The solution in these situations is just to crank up the ISO, but this then leads to signal noise from the sensor. The good news is there's a solution to this with neat video that gets rid of all that unwanted noise like magic. Even in auto mode with no further tweaking, the results are incredible. Now, just a little warning here, it is processor intensive, so don't expect real-time playback without rendering. So I suggest that you apply neat video as your first filter effect in your effects stack, but don't enable it until after you get to the end of your project for the final render. As a quick tip, if you do wanna try and boost its performance inside neat video's UI, just go to tools, preferences, performance, then optimize settings, and Neat Video will analyze your system to determine if it should use only your CPU, GPU, or both combined for the best performance. Number three, M-Flare 2. I've seen a lot of filmmakers use overlays that they've purchased from seeing an ad on Facebook to add flares to their shots. But other than changing the opacity or blending mode, you really have no control over the character of the overlays. For example, the flares don't actually interact with your footage in an authentic way like following a light source. For filmmakers on Adobe products, they can buy plugins like optical flares from Video Copilot or Maxon's No Light Factory to create amazing lighting and flare effects, but what about showing some love for Final Cut Pro? Well, in that case, you'll wanna check out M-Flare from Motion VFX now in version two. With it, you'll be able to customize every aspect of the flare or use one of the built-in presets to give you a good starting point. With this plugin, you're able to track flares to a light source, or even create points of light for motion graphics. Number two, Universe Transitions. Universe is a collection of filters, effects, and transitions by Maxon. With this, you get motion graphic generators like a ray gun and HUD components to filters like VHS, Hollow Matrix, and Long Shadow. But what I use the most is their collection of transitions. I personally love their glitch, VHS, film, swish pan, and slide transitions. They are great not only for transitions between clips, but for bringing in and out of frame graphical elements. The transitions feel organic with great motion blur and an insane amount of customization. Plus, they all come with built-in presets to make it easy to get started using them, and you can preview them in the dashboard panel. And finally, at number one, Cinema Grade. As color grading is so important to the final look of your project, it can oftentimes be overwhelming using the built-in grading tools, which are based on concepts taken from a telecine suite. So rather than using traditional telecine controls, Cinema Grade lets you grade directly on the image in a big, beautiful viewer. Brightening shadows or even reducing exposure in the midtones or highlights is fast and easy where you can literally just click and drag up and down to change exposure. If you're unsure where things should be exposed, with the false color turned on, you can see the different exposure values represented as a heat map. So areas that are overexposed or clipped show as red, so you can just simply click and drag down to recover the highlight detail. And skin tones should be in the gray, green, and pink areas. 
Shot matching, another huge challenge, is solved by grouping shots and matching them together in the easy side-by-side -side viewer. And for applying looks, instead of sifting through a drop-down list of LUTs in Final Cut, with Cinema Grade, you get real actual previews of your shots and how they'll look with different LUTs applied. This makes finding the right look for your project super fast and easy from your library of LUTs. Now, full disclosure, I am the founder and designer of Cinema Grade, but it was created out of a need to make color grading super fast and easy for filmmakers. And I think you'll agree that it's not always easy or practical to wear many hats as a filmmaker and try to master every aspect of production. But with this, you'll be able to get a high-end cinema look without having to specialize as a colorist. In fact, Final Cut editor Yuval Orr used Cinema Grade to help him with his work on the Oscar-winning short film, Skin, that won the best live action short film category. So these are the top five must have Final Cut Pro effects and plugins for 2022. What do you think? Does Final Cut Pro's vast plugin ecosystem make it the most advanced modern editor? Let me know what you think below in the comments and if you have any suggestions for which plugins should be included in the 2023 roundup, let me know. For more videos like this, click the subscribe button and then the bell to get notified of our next one. I'll see you in the next video. Let's make cinema quality video.